Get the power. Unibon no more nails. Ultra range. Sponsors 60 minute makeover. 26 million British homes. And in one, something miraculous is about to happen. Why have your friends and family been so secretive? Why have they taken your house keys? Why have they taken you out for the day? What's going on? Could it be you're about to get a surprise? 60 minute makeover. Let's find out where Terry Dwyer and the team are right now. Today, we're in Runcorn, Cheshire, surprising a couple of brothers that have had a tough couple of years. Now, there's a lot to do, but you know what they say. Many hands make light work. Well, it's good job we've got all these, then. <laughs> this three-bed semi is home to Tony, who's 22, and Paul, on the right, who's 20. Their aunt Elisa wants to surprise them with a dream home makeover. She's their mum, Mandy's sister. So where are the boys today? They're actually at a theme park today with my husband, which is nice because they don't have a lot of time off work, so they've gone for three days to go and have a, a male bonding session, really, and go on the, the rides and you know, have a good time, really. Why do you want to do this for them? I want to do it for them because the mum died um, three years ago and it's been a hard struggle for them to keep the house on and it's been a really sharp learning curve for them and I'd just like them to have you know, a fresh start, a new beginning and be able to focus and go forward with their lives instead of looking constantly in the past. Why have they not done anything with the house before now? A lot of it's been sentimentality, that they didn't want to change anything, mm. um, but a lot of it as well is that they, they can't agree on anything, and whenever one of them puts a view forward and says, right, we'll change this, mm. the other one will say, no, I don't want that. OK. You know, so it is a constant battle for them to actually change anything. I've stepped more or less into the motherly role since the mum died, mm. so I'm the one that, you know, instructs them and tells them what to do, and I'm the nagging one in the background, really. Mm. And was that difficult for them to kind of adapt to, or did you all just fall into it? I think we all fell into the roles automatically afterwards, because um, it was hard, it was very raw, so, mm. you know, I think we did just develop those roles, really. Well, let's get this makeover underway. Right, come on. And dazzling us with today's makeover design is our very own fairy godfather, John Amarbele. Okay, Lisa, this is obviously the living room. Very bland, lacking personality. Yeah, which doesn't reflect the boys at all. Yeah. It does not look like a living room that belongs to two young guys, does it? Yeah. Well, a lot of the furniture has already been given, so it's been a magnation of, like, people have given the mm. settee and they've given the table, you know, so it's bits and bobs that it's not their own choice. Well, hopefully I'll be able to get it right for them, because just yeah. now it looks like you've inherited a lot of things. Mm. Yeah. This sofa mm. looks like something could be from a... You know, a, a country home because it's a bit mm -hmm. sort of almost it's like a Chesterfield big. type style yes. with the button back. So it really needs something that's going to make sure both boys get the sort of the masculinity into their that's bachelor pads. Yeah. Okay, yeah. um, Elisa, is there anything yeah. you want to keep in here? Nothing. Okay, well, should we take a look at the next room? Yeah. Oh, my favourite room to make over the kitchen. John, lots of ideas? Lots of ideas. Um, again, going a little bit butch in here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, butch with a little bit of fruitiness, though. This is where I come in. OK. OK? How does that sound? Just not sure about the fruity. What? Just not You're sure about the fruity. fruity. Right, yeah. OK. <laughs> Don't worry. Not bright oranges. You never know. Right. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to look after you and yeah. I'll keep him in check, OK? Fine. Um, is there anything you want to keep in here? Um, I want to actually keep, um, that was the mum's um, ornaments there, and she's put them up, so they've been very reluctant to actually take that down. Mm. Um, so, I mean, even if it gets stored or, you know, they, they, they would like to keep that. Oh, Elisa, whose room's this? This is Paul's room. Do you think this reflects Paul's personality? Yes, I do. Oh. Um, a little bit. Um, he's very much into his films. He likes his films. Okay. And, um, he likes his designer gear. He's very, okay. um, very contemporary and is up on all the latest fashions and everything. Do you know, I can see little bits 
of what you're saying describe yeah. him, but not enough, John. No. It's like, you know, the TV, which is quite sophisticated, and, you know, the pictures on the wall, but there's not enough personality. No. We need to pull that out of him, and also, I don't like wooden floors and bedrooms. No. I think we should be a bit more comfortable, mm. see how we sleep, just a softer approach to mm. things. Storage-wise, he's got that tiny little TV unit there, mm. and that mm, bedside cabinet. That was obviously the pass me down again, yeah. so it wasn't so I, I think choice. we need to address some storage for him, but also, if they're because there's the two guys and they've got the living, they might want some time on their own, so this needs to be sort of more of a space they'd want to spend some time on their That'd own. And I think the way it is just now, you might not want to, just want to come in here and sleep, probably. Yeah. Rather than spend some quality time. Is there anything you want to keep in here? I'd like to keep Tony because that was a present. Elisa, this must be Tony's room. Yes, yes. OK, so he likes brown. Well, he got told it brown was the colour that was in, so Tony just went overboard with the brown. It does look very much like a student dorm, really. It with does. No it's quite what? sad, isn't it? Oh, it yeah. It's room. Yeah. Yeah, and it doesn't reflect Tony's personality at all. It's difficult to get any hook on Tony's personality in this room, isn't it? Because it's so bland. <laughs> yeah, well, what kind of thing does he like? Well, he likes fish, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, he likes fishing and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure, like... He wouldn't like a massive fish on the wall or some kind of mural with a, you know, a huge trout <laughs> or anything. That would really I not be good. I may introduce fish into the design scheme. But he only likes fish a little bit. It's like well, a hobby, not more. Well, you've than said it now. And, and does he like swimming like fish? I need to get a on something. <laughs> God, oh, oh, I'll tell you. That's terrible. Thank you. But you mean he likes swimming fish. Yeah, he likes the hobby fishing. Pictures. I mean, he used to have an aquarium, so okay. it's that kind of fish theme that he likes. You don't it's want to see a whole wall of fish print wouldn't you don't no. think it would work? I don't think so. Not a whole wall of fish of Elisa. Fish. I will make sure it's okay. Do not worry. I can keep him in line. Reel me in. <laughs> okay, shall we go? <laughs> yes. <laughs> OK, guys, it's makeover time. Are you two ready? ready? Yes. Team, are you ready? Yes! 60 minutes of madness. Three, two, one. Get the power. Unibon No More Nails Ultra Range. Sponsors 60 Minute Makeover. If it's broke, repair it. Unibon Repair Adhesive sponsors 60 Minute Makeover. In you go, guys. The team have got 60 minutes to turn this house into a bachelor pad for two brothers from Runcon in Cheshire. They've got no idea. All these people are running wild inside their home with paintbrushes. I'm getting pushed around something chronic. Here's Tony and Paul at a theme park being filmed by their uncle. He's taken them out so we can get on with the makeover. OK, living room, where's Trigger? Oh, there you are. I've got the lovely Elise. Hello. How are your paintings from? OK, stick with us. You might learn a thing or two. At least you can tell your nephews what good job you did. OK. Thanks, Terry. Right, I'm going to leave you with this on this wall. Right, that's okay. Yep. There's a tray there. Oh, wow, that was amazing as well. You like the wallpaper? Wow. We're floored already. It's my old favourite vinyl flooring, £29.90 a square metre, wow. economical, and in one fell swoop I've changed the look of the place. And vinyl these days is a lot better than it used to be, yeah. isn't I it? Mean, it used to be really kind of old-fashioned and had that bad reputation, but they're thicker, they're durable, and they look really good. OK, what have you got planned for the kitchen? OK, well, we need to maximise with more storage. We're putting a little sort of breakfast bar here, yeah. like over sale. New cupboard doors everywhere. And a new splashback, new appliances, it's a whole new kitchen. Okay, so, so 
Well, we're keeping the carcasses, aren't yes, we? Yes, we are keeping the so, carcasses. So, okay, I'm not too worried. I get more worried when we don't keep the carcasses. Come on. Paul's bedroom. <laughs> no pressure. Trying to get it right. It's a blank canvas. Oh. But we've gone for two kind of different looks in here. Okay. Uh, what we're trying to do, because the boys have got different personalities, we will be going for the feature wall, we'll be giving them better bedding. We have the hard flooring in here. Yes. We've now put the light there, the underfelt down. We're having carpet for softness. Always have carpet in bedrooms. So this colour isn't the normal kind of vibrant John and Marvel, eh? Why have you chosen this colour? Well, they do like the browns, right? Mm. But you'll see that I'm still using brown here, but it's brown and sort of silver's coming through. Okay. So you'll see that all the room's a little bit metallic coming in. Mm. That gives it a sort of... Macho. Macho edge. So you do understand that. You better believe it. Yeah. John, let's go take a look in Tony's room. It's all happening. Can we climb over you here? No. Oh, wow. You can oh, see. A difference already. It's yes. lovely. Personality, yes. So, again, we're keeping the browns in. They like the browns. Yeah. But what they really like to do is have... Because he's a bit more vibrant, we've got a really funky wallpaper here. New carpet's gone down, it's a softer colour, but it's a bit more of sort of bedroom chic. It feels much more comfortable already. Now, you've not gone that far away from the original colour that was on the wall. No, it just gives it a freshen up, uh, and it just pulls these tones in because we wanted the feature wall not to really be, like, too disjointed. OK. So it's another little tip that if you have a feature wall, make sure your other walls in some way blend. OK, good. Should we take a look downstairs? Yeah, but wow, uh, that makes your eyes go funny, though. It does a bit. You can't stare at it for too long, can you? But you won't have to because this is the feature wall behind the sofa here. Okay. But it's quite cool, quite sophisticated. We're bringing the metallics in once again because it will give a bit of reflection. This is a new wallpaper by Harlequin. I frankly love it. Yeah, I like it. Although I think because of the way the lines are, it would probably do my eyes in a little bit. Well, but you won't see it because you're watching this way. Well, then what's you. the point of putting it up if you're not looking at it? Oh, Terry, you're so pedantic. <laughs> yeah, I know. OK, um, now, I noticed throughout you're keeping your colours quite neutral for yeah. you. Quite subtle as well. Why? It's only because the wallpapers are so right, dominant. Okay. There's a little bit of a theme running through and a little bit of calmness because we've got some... Well, I've got some artwork for there, so you might take back what I've said about the calmness on the walls. Oh, OK. And we've got... I'll show you later on a big, big feature for here. Lovely. So far, so good. Yeah. Seven and a half minutes gone. Kitchen. Who's head of kitchen? Right. Um, the vinyl's finished, isn't it? Shouldn't you be getting the kitchen doors in now? They are doing them outside. I know. No, but she said she didn't want orange. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh, well, she's definitely oh. orange. Oh. <laughs> Listen, I will go in. Oh. How have I got paint on me? Oh, that's you. That's my fault. Oh, goodness Sorry. Gracious. Sorry. I have Sorry. to keep you in line. I'll no, go find Jason. Grace, uh, the vinyl's down. You should be getting the doors in, really. Uh, well, we're still fitting the hinges. <laughs> well, you're going to have to fit them a bit quicker. Come on, Craig, get your finger out. Damn, Teddy. Breeze in it. Um, have you got a long level? Yeah. That, that, that 1200 base unit's got to have two doors fitted to it. So, as I said before, put a carpet in your bedroom, it's really, really soft now. Don't buy a carpet and try and put it down yourself. You'll see what we're doing here. Give us a bit of knee 